Good evening, it's 10pm on Thursday the 21st of May. Daryl is finally asleep, which means I can do a peaceful today in my boo journal. <laughs> so how are you? Are you alright? I got moaned out for putting me over there. Galena, she moaned. I don't know. So, I'm back over here. <laughs> anyway, right. Um, let's see, where are we at? It is the 21st, which means I've got to finish off yesterday. So, yesterday, I didn't do day cream or makeup. I didn't have any caffeine, I didn't have booze. What did I have for dinner? Oh, for crying out loud. Today I had scampi and chips. How did I have yesterday? I had pizza. And I did have a couple of chips with it. Did I craft? No. Did we do have? No. We did the garden and I managed to brush my teeth. That was as far as I got. I went to bed with a migraine last night. Otherwise there would have been a video yesterday. But yeah. Um, right. Let me... Oops. Oops. Hang on a sec. Family are all messaging me at once. Oh dear. I've already done smart journaling, I did that earlier. And um, I was gonna hyperlapse it through because um, I was watching like other people while I uh, while I did it. So there's no talking. Um, but a couple of you said they really, really enjoyed my unedited <laughs> really long today in my boo journal. Um, Mary said she had it on the background and Galena said she watched it as well. So um, I'm not going to edit the planner part of it. I will hyperlapse through the creation of my art journal page and I might voice over it just so that I could tell you what was going on and I mean you can see what's going on but I, I personally don't like watching videos that's just music. You know, I like there to be talking in it, even if it's just you saying, this is me sticking a sticker down. Yes, okay, I can see that's you sticking a sticker, but I still like you to say, you know, oh, I chose this sticker because, or, you know, yeah, I, I liked this sticker, so I'm going to put it in. That's, you know, if that's the reason why, then that's fantastic, but to just stick it down with music, I'm, my mind wanders, and I, yeah. Um, what did I do? I feel the dishwasher up. When you see me mark off that I filled the dishwasher up, I don't actually wash, use the dishwasher every single day because it's just me and Daryl and we don't actually get through a lot of crockery. Um, I've got like five adult dinner plates, so I wait until the dishwasher's full, basically, before I activate it. Same with the laundry, I tick off that I check laundry every day and it's not that I'm doing laundry every day, it's that I'm checking whether it needs to be done, but do we have enough for a load? Because now it's just me and Daryl, i.e. there's not Alex here with work clothes and wrestling um, training gear to wash a couple of times a week. I'm doing a hell of a lot less washing as well. My electric bill's gone down by a shit ton. <laughs> yeah, about 50 quid a month. It's amazing. Um, so, you know. Uh, I can't even remember whether I set up a week. I don't think I did. I need to do that now then before I forget. Um, so literally all of my kids, bar one, are texting me. What am I doing? I'm setting up the weekend. <laughs> oh god, calendar. Yeah, no I haven't set up this weekend. Right, so what we do is we go into there, we duplicate event. I don't really know why I bothered duplicating the event because literally all it does is duplicates the name and the fucking cover picture, you know? It doesn't realise that you want to go from 
the same time the following week or anything. It just goes like, oh, we'll go from, you know, the next full hour. And it doesn't even copy over like all the posts either. It literally just copies over the first bit. So it copies over like that bit. Come on. Now it's doing it. There you go. And so I have to go in and put the posts in every fucking week, which is a pain in the ass. So what you do is you go all the way down to, uh, and then we do races at the weekend if everybody wants to. It is purely a thing done for fun. But what I do is I post up two pictures, one for each race, and if they want to do a race, they say, me please, and uh, whichever one they want to do. Sometimes it's just me and one other person, and all I tend to do is my... Um, my mat, you know, my absolute bare minimum at the weekend, so I'm not much of a competitor really. I get green and that's it. I don't, I don't go bananas, not like I did the other weekend. Right, so that's that done. Okay, so I can change the pen. Ta -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da okay, so today, today I did my morning care routine. I started, um, there was a, a, a media coverage recently, and I say media coverage, you know, one of those daily rag newspapers, um, covered a TikTok, I don't have TikTok, um, video of this woman who said, I've just found out my husband has got this rather mad dental routine. He told me all about it and I went and checked with a dentist friend and she actually agreed, she backed him up and said yes he was doing the thing. And apparently what he does is he rinses with an alcoholic mouthwash, yeah, for 30 seconds, then he flosses, then he brushes for two minutes and then he rinses with a fluoride mouthwash. And I thought, fuck, that seems like an awful lot. I run a toothbrush over mine twice a day and that's pretty much it. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to give that a go, being as dentist said, yes, yeah, it's, it's a good thing to do. So I did. Um, fucking hell, my teeth feel so different, you know. And I know you guys can't see it, but they actually look cleaner to me. They're starting to look a lot cleaner. They were disgusting. And when I say I ran a toothbrush over them, I, I ran a toothbrush over them. I didn't, you know, it wasn't that I didn't brush my teeth. I did. I just didn't do it properly. So I've started doing this. And actually, it's surprising. It doesn't take too long, like maybe 10 minutes flossing because you only need to floss like at night so I mean I'm doing it once a day at the moment but as some people say you don't even need to do it that often but I am because mine are still quite bad um, and, and I've made a difference so I'm trying to do that at the moment I didn't do it last night that's the first night since I started doing it oh excuse me that I did do it because I went to pay for the buy grade oh pardon me right I did not wear makeup I've not had Cola or booze. Um, I've had chips I have not crafted. We didn't do any homework because we got Lego. And I didn't do the garden because my mother said I might actually be watering my garden a little bit too much. Because her garden looks better than mine. And I'm like, well, why is mine so weedy and horrible? And we've come to the conclusion that I might actually be overwatering it which really pissed Daryl off when he said to me this evening, can we go out and spray the garden? And I went, no. And he was like, but why? And I said, well, because it doesn't need doing today because we've just had a ho uh, outside tap fit so we can do hose. And we've got one of those ones where you press it like a gun and he thinks it's fucking great. Right, now, I posted today my in-progress card of the day. And I haven't set up my new week, which I would have done yesterday, but... I knew I had a bad head coming, so I didn't um, I didn't do a live. But I might do a live Friday evening, sort of catch up live, you know. But yeah, we haven't done any homework mainly because I bought Daryl Lego, and I'm get, not getting anything out of him at the moment. He is totally Lego obsessed. I bought him a bucket, a large bucket of Lego. But I tell you what. I was a bit pissed off because it's a bit like buying potato chips. You know, you open the bag and all it is is air and there's like a layer of potato chips at the bottom like that. It's like that with a bucket of Lego. You go and have a look at my Instagram. Um, I'm pretty tapper on Instagram as well. I'm going to have a look. Yeah, Lego. But it's a fucking bucket. Of, it's four-fifths empty. I was like, are you joking? 
Not impressed. Cup of tea. Right. Uh, now I filled all that in earlier. I must have done that yesterday because, let's see, today was, today was alright but we didn't go out. Pain was less today. You know, that migraine hit and I was like, wow, that's a doozy. Right. Um, see, I was in bed by, oops, bed by 10. Yeah, 1025 I was asleep by. Come on to this. I wonder I'm tired. Because apparently Oh, excuse me, I was awake for an hour. So 1025 until one o'clock. And then two o'clock to just before eight. And then I was awake for a wee bit at six o'clock as well because I got up to go to the loo and then lay there staring at the ceiling for a bit because it was daylight, you know. And I was like, Daryl will come in any minute now. <laughs> but he didn't. <laughs> so I was there uh, waiting and waiting and waiting he'll come in any minute now. And then it was like sort of 20 minutes past and I thought, you know what? Why don't you go back to fucking sleep, you idiot? And of course, the minute I hit deep sleep, he woke up and he comes wandering. Hello, mummy. Can you go downstairs so I can play my Lego? I wouldn't let him take it upstairs. Because seriously, yesterday when he got it, he was so chuffed. I basically had to scream at him to get him to eat. Because it's like, Daryl, you eat dinner. Yeah, I'm just making it. Like, Daryl, we you eat your dinner. You need to eat dinner now. Yeah, okay, I'm just doing this, you know. And I turn my back, and I turn my back. He abandoned his dinner, and over the other side of the room, playing with the fucking Lego. So I was like, that is not going upstairs. So we cleaned the loo this morning, and I did the laundry, but I didn't do far call hours. Um, I've had. I don't know if you guys remember me having the fence done last year. Um, I need to clean the bathroom. Okay. Well, when I had the fence done, the job wasn't finished. Okay. And um, there's been a missing panel between myself and my neighbour. Right by our door. So every time the poor woman's come out of her house, Daryl's been like, hi Nikki! You know, and she's been like, hi Daryl! <laughs> she's had no peace from him whatsoever. And although she adores him, it's, you know, a bit of a pen in the ass. So, um, and I caught a little bit of April earlier. So, uh, yeah, I finally had that finished. And all I need to do now is get a new gate for going down the side of my house, because one side isn't attached. Um, and I need a gate. It's blocked off with my wheelie bin at the moment, but, uh, yeah, I need a gate put there. And I was out there cleaning and sweeping and tidying and that after all the work had been finished. Oh my God, it actually looks really nice. I'm really pleased with it. The only thing I'm not pleased with is the lawn. But, you know, that's, that's by the way. Right, okay, so we are caught up. Yes, in there. Now, um, you get to look at my journal page. Uh, make, make, creation. <laughs> that's on now. So these were the pages that I prepped the other day. I really like how they came out, they look really, really nice. I've, I, I'm, I'm so against throwing shit away that this washi that I've got, I keep saving the days that I'm not using. <laughs> and it's just like, why the heck? I've got um, a Monday, a Tuesday, <laughs> Friday, a Sunday, and a Wednesday. I've got a whole flipping week, except for a weekend. I might have to use it next week. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, a bit of a nightmare. Anyway, this was um, some tissue paper wrapped around a dread bead that I got. So I decided to finally pull out my circular cutting dies and um, cut it out and make a nice little thing to go in my journal, which I thought would be quite good fun. I thought, yeah, that looks all right there. This was a postcard that I received from a lady on Facebook. And um, the tag there, you see with the Lego, that's part of the packaging. And I was really pleased with how they turned out. I cut a whole load of them out of that packaging. So it was awesome. I also had to make that camera and this moped that you're about to see. 
and um, I decided I would stick the tag down via the, the moped, you know, so the string is going underneath the moped. I actually ended up sticking it a bit too close to the moped so I didn't give myself an awful lot of room to move the, the tag about but I also didn't want it to hang too low and hang over the um, bottom of the book so yeah I stuck it in and I opened it and I was like oh god that's really crap you can see like loads of tape so I had to do it again <laughs> uh, yeah then I um, I thought oh fancy stamping teacups I don't know why I just fancied stamping teacups a bit off shot there no mind so yeah I am um, the happy dreads thing bit of tissue I st only stuck that down in the middle because I wanted the the dimension of it I suppose to stick up a little bit I should have inked around it that would have made it look a bit better as well I didn't realize I was off the bottom of the camera there I shall have to readjust a little bit And then there was me Terry's chocolate orange wrapper. So all I wrote here was, um, I got Daryl a large bucket of Lego. He was absolutely ecstatic. I had to keep telling him to eat because he would get distracted and disappear. And then I just journaled a little bit about um, what's been going on. Uh, about how it's been very, very hot. Hottest day was today. Uh, we didn't go out because Daryl wanted to play with his Lego. Uh, and then I said about you know what I've made with the made with the Lego. Uh, he's very happy. Uh, and then I said about the fence being finished. And I thought I'd write that in big big letters so that if I ever need to look back, I can find it again. Um, yeah, I still need a side gate, but it's blocked off with the bin. And then I wrote a little bit about how my lawn was all crappy, and I was a bit pissed off with it. And and that's 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 pretty much it. So basically, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, what I've got there is I've got a postcard that came from a lady on Facebook after I created the postcard pen pals Facebook group. If you're interested in that, and I remember, I will stick a link down below to it. Um, if I don't, give me a nudge and I'll do so. So yeah, um, then <laughs> I cut up some of the packaging from Daryl's uh, Lego. And I made tags, and I made quite a few actually. I was quite pleased with that. And what I basically wrote on that was got Daryl a large bucket of Lego. He was absolutely ecstatic. Had to keep telling him to eat his food. Um, and then today I had to make this moped and this camera for him, um, show him how to do it. Uh, wrote a little bit about the fence, just done a stamp there. Um, I received a new dreadlock bead off of Happy Dreads, and uh, a couple of days ago I had toast chocolate orange. And then this is a photo of my really crap bold lawn this is my brand new lawn that I've already seeded once and I've watered it like it's and it just looks like I've just got weed growing up through it so I'm a bit pissed off about that but hey you know can't be helped and I can't do anything about it now because it's too hot so if I put seed down now it'll just burn and it won't do fuck all anyway so yeah that's the art look at how chonky that is we are only just past the halfway mark the halfway mark is where that elastic is and we are only just past it, but I've, with all these envelopes and stuff that I've put in, that was my walk the white envelope there. And then that was the letter from April, I believe. So yeah, it's getting quite thick and quite heavy. And then we've got the COVID app, because we're, we're the testing ground for the COVID-19 app here on the Isle of Wight, lovely. So that letter's in there. And then I've got, some, I've got a drawing from Daryl in there. So what I'm thinking is, is um maybe doing flip throughs of my art journal because i've created the odd page and haven't done it on video or on, on film for you um would a flip through be something of this that you would be interested in um and if so should i break it down to quarter or do one at the end of june to do like a six month one because if i do a six month one it's going to be really long because up until COVID happened, I journaled pretty much every day. Um, and the only reason I haven't been journaling every day is because we haven't been doing anything, you know? But I mean, from, from January up until sort of then, all of this is, that is daily journaling. 
So what I'm thinking is, is I could break it up into quarters and do like, you know, quarter one of 2020, you know, and then quarter two when we get there um, at the end of June. Or I could do six months, but then six months is going to be all of this. So I'm not sure. What I might do is just start flipping through and then check how long it's been when I get to the end of um, March. And if it's been like really long, I'll probably stop it at the end of March. That sounds like that might be the best idea, doesn't it? Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Um, let me board back in. Oh, and my bookmark. I knew there was something I hadn't done earlier. I keep forgetting to put my bloody bookmark back in. And then I get really cross because I see it lying on the side. My bookmark from April. Um, right, so there we go. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. You know that I do because I always tell you. Um, yeah. Click the book. That book down, down, down there. Down there. And you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell and then click all, you will be notified when I upload new content. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I really, really do appreciate it. Don't forget to leave comments and kisses down below for Daryl. And um, I will see you next time. There's a good possibility that there will be a live Friday evening around about 7.30pm UK time. Keep an eye out on my channel. I will set up a live prompt thing. I don't know what they're called. Okay, take it easy guys. Bye.